the wine press appears to be in working order, but it needs power to begin pressing. Okay. So that's what the machinery is for, then. And how we turn on the machinery? We're not sure. Unfortunately, it would probably have to do maybe with these guys. <laughs> but, uh... I don't think we're going to bother with that unless we need to appease all four waters. Just because it wasn't obvious about anything we could gain uh, from them. Just checking that I didn't miss uh, something interactive here. Doesn't look like... Well, yeah, there was a knob here. Okay. Yep. Send in one. Go back and look at that. I've done had enough of this. Oh, I'm glad I looked. All right, so we missed a knob on the wall. But I guess we can turn. Maybe start her up. The switch panel for this strange machine. The switch appears to be broken off and missing. <laughs> okay. So we need the switch, which I bet you is with the guys by the sparring ring. Okay. So again, I think we'll wait with that one. At least we know what we need. I guess we find it somewhere else. My temper shield! It is a fine day to die. So, anyone checked for traps? Let's hope she found them all. Alright. Okay, so I think before uh, we talk to the warder that uh, wanted the spirit of Durlag's pride awoken, um, I think we'll just have Imwin check quickly what's in this room. I care not. I am gone. So it looks like anything to loot, then uh, I'll probably at least do that first. Okay, it looks like a rubble. With a crate that's trapped. Yeah, I guess all the rubble's from a collapsed wall. Otherwise, nothing really, uh, remarkable. Okay, looks like a library. And a few more rooms that we didn't think were here. Alright, two bookshelves. One's trapped. Scrolls, a potion. I think the uh, history of the drow, too, and history of king. I think that's just a regular helmet. Let's just check. I think the books we might leave. I think these are probably just ordinary books. History of Gondagil, the lost king. Be nice to find a book, uh, maybe about Durlag. <laughs> Man. Yeah, 
Actually, we don't want these. History of the Dragon Coast. History of the Last Giants. Okay. I think Emma's gonna start wanting a larger share of uh, party plunder soon. All right. Okay, looks like a, a greater doppelganger. The regular one, I think, whoa, was tough enough. Three greater doppelgangers. Well, just curious what's on the shelf, I think. Can she do it though and still stay hidden? I guess is the question. Well, first she's just gonna see if she check for traps. Yep, there's one. Sounded like a trap. Here's uh, a scroll as well, though. Man. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this is not good. Oh boy. Looks like they're mirror imaging. All three of them. Hasted. Holy cow. And she didn't even get the scroll. <laughs> what is your command? Tis a fine day to die. So I was going to say, uh, check for traps and then maybe come back uh, invisible. And maybe that, uh, but it's too late. But I think if they're not going to pursue, we'll, uh, we'll leave it. It's only a scroll, I can't imagine what's in the other one. In fact, the other one had a detectable trap, it's probably even less valuable. So I think we're just going to leave it. Alright. I think before talking to the water, we're going to rest. Man, that was rough. Yeah, so hopefully then we only need to appease one, being the one that wanted the pride of Duralag awoken. Oh, look at this. Summon Dreadwolf. I didn't even know Faldorn could do that. Okay. Hello? If Tempus wills it. Actually, I think uh, in case something happens, talking with one of them, all of them, uh, actually going to pause it here, I think. Actually, I think the first thing we're going to try is see if uh, we can't go down the pit to begin with uh, without talking to any of them. But uh, I doubt that'll work. I think it was this one that uh, wanted Durleg's pride awoken, so I think we'll talk to him first. See if he says says the way's uh, clear, and if so, we'll probably go down. But uh, that'll be next time. 
if you've uh, been watching thanks and uh later